Matching motors can be a little tricky until you get used to it. It's just a matter of knowing what information on the motor is important and what information to avoid. Hello my viewers. Today I want to answer a question that someone emailed to me in regards to matching up motors, uh, you know, replacement type motors, meaning uh, if you have say an OEM motor from an air conditioning system or, or, or even an exhaust fan, uh, or even should I say especially exhaust fans in reality, um, and how you would match that fan motor up to uh, a motor that is not an OEM and is an aftermarket motor. How to properly match that motor? Well, a lot of techs out there are used to matching that motor with uh, a like and kind motor with the same horsepower. And that is a mistake, especially with exhaust fan motors. The original manufacturer typically makes that motor to where you have to go back to the original manufacturer, meaning them. And otherwise you're going to wind up burning up the motor. The trick here is not to match the motors with the horsepower, but match it with the amp draw that's on the data label on the motor. Uh, try to get as close to the amp draw as possible. Small compressors for a refrigerator in a lot of cases uh, should be matched the same way, especially if you can no longer get the same uh, compressor, you know, that, you know, the replacement compressor. Let's take a look at this motor right here. The information that means the most here is going to be, of course, the RPM, the shaft size, the voltage and phase, and the frame size. Here's one of them. OEM motors that I was talking about earlier or if you look at the horsepower it's 1.1 now very few motors are made to be 1.1 unless it's an OEM motor obviously this one is OEM voltage is 208 to 30 and the amp draw is going to be 7.0 RPM is 1140 and uh, that now of course those are important items but to match this motor with an aftermarket motor could be difficult but unless you can find a motor okay this is a condensing fan motor by the way that is held in with belly band mount unless you can find a 48 frame that's the type of frame this is by the way uh, with an amp draw of seven then you're gonna have to go with the OEM motor because this motor was specially made uh, probably so that you'd have to go back to the manufacturer and uh, get the OEM motor this is the new spotlight shifter 1.0 also I want to talk to you about spotlight again. This is another really neat little flashlight uh, that can, uh, well, if I had a pocket here I could clip it, but it, well maybe I could still clip it on here. See, I can clip it I, even on my t-shirt. It'll even clip real nice to your tool bag. Turn it on right now so you can see. Uh, that is a pretty powerful LED light in there. They have a website at 12vspotlight.com that is right right there 
So head on over and check them out. Thank you.